Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Kramer and I'm the Instructional Technology Collaborator for grades 6 through 8 here at Shen and today I'm going to help you uh, learn how to use WeVideo for a project. To begin, you need to go to www.wevideo.com. You're going to find this red Google circle and you are going to sign up with your Google account. When you click here, it might um, ask you to grant it permission to access your drive. Please do so. Any videos that you create will automatically be stored in your Google Drive in a folder called WeVideo. Okay? You'll be brought to your dashboard. It will tell you how much uh, recording time you've used, how much storage you've been use, you use. It will allow you to make edits for a video project and it will show you the recent video edits that you're working on. I'm actually going to direct your attention to this projects tab. That's where I'd like you to begin. In the bottom right, you're going to see a plus sign. Please click on it to begin a new project. You need to give your project a title. I'm going to call this We Video Tutorial for Students and a description. I'm going to click personal to make a personal edit and then I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me if I want to add media that I've already uploaded into the WeVideo platform. I'm going to click next. If you don't have anything, it might not ask you. And then it says my, my project has been created. So I'm going to create the video. It's going to give me three options, a blank edit, a newscast K-12, book report 612, or student portfolio K-4. I'm not going to select these three right now, but if you want to see how they layer videos and different images and audio, this would be a great additional tutorial. I'm going to select blank edit, and I'm going to start our video. Okay, So I'm going to walk you through everything here. I'm going to walk you specifically through these six things and just talk a little bit about these layering things. Down here, you have three tracks. You have video one, video two, and an audio track, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna introduce you to is called the Essentials Library. This is WeVideo's um, library of videos, image, and graphics. So since I'm making a video today about basically how to make a movie, I'm going to uh, search camera and there's a vintage camera that I like, so I'm gonna drop it down right here, okay? All you have to do is pull it and bring it down into your tracks, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is click on this media button. This is media that you have uploaded to WeVideo yourself. If you can see here, I've uploaded a ton of images, some videos, okay, into my WeVideo account. You can do that by clicking on this green cloud with an arrow. You can import your media. You will be directed to go to your Google Drive. And it will give you all of your folders in your drive to upload anything from. Okay. Another option that you have is to record yourself. Okay. And I'm going to open the screen recorder right here to show you. You can record your screen, or you can record it with a webcam. I'll just preview this showing you the webcam. It will show you a preview window. You can hit record, it'll give you a countdown. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kramer, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to use WeVideo for a project. It will let you play just to preview it, or you can start brand new. I'm gonna click save, and I'm gonna show you that it's uploading currently right here. Okay, I'm actually going to move this over so when this recording uploads I can drag it down to intro my video. So I'm just going to take it, flop it down. I'm going to hit insert and push because then that will push my video over. Okay, so there's my intro video and my image. If you click on the image, I just want to give you show you a couple things you can do with it. You can rotate your image if you want to. You can flip it. You can fit to the screen or you can fit whole screen. I like that better. 
You can also scale it if you want to, okay? Um, here's, you can fiddle with the animation, fading in and out. Okay, you can change the color of it and color keying. This is an advanced feature. If you wanted to explore this more on your own, you could. Okay, but I'm also gonna just show you a couple of neat tricks. Since this is my video project, I'm gonna take my face that I have here and I'm gonna put it on top. So now if you see, my camera's in the back and my face is on top, okay? I'm not in love with how they're not like complementing each other, so I'm gonna show you a way that you can actually change that. When you double click my face image, I'm gonna go back to this first tab right here and I'm actually gonna scale it. I want it to be much smaller and I'm actually gonna take it and put it over in the corner, okay? So you can make your images smaller and move them around your screen. That looks a lot better, okay? But now I also wanna add some text to this, okay? So we'll get to that in a minute, okay? So I've showed you how to upload, I've showed you how to record. Now I'm also going to show you how to do a voice recorder. All you have to do is click on this here. It'll give you a countdown. I really love what technology can do. Okay, you can hit play. I really love what technology can do. Once you see it, you can click the screen button and it again, it'll upload here. I'll find somewhere later in this video to put that, okay? But now, as I promised, let's go to the text here. This is the third tab, it's text. You have three options to choose from. Motion and more, in season, or call outs, okay? Motion and more, these are titles that actually move, okay? I actually wanna put some words on this screen right here, but it don't, doesn't seem to have enough room. So I'm gonna click plus, and I'm gonna add a new video track, and I'm gonna pull one of these titles down, one of the motion titles, and put it on top. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna double click this motion title and I can move it, scale it, fit it if I want to. But the most important thing is this text bubble. I'm going to click here and I'm gonna change it from primary text. I'm gonna write me video and I'm gonna write my name. Okay, so now you can see, I'm actually gonna change the size of that a little bit. It's really fun, ooh, not too much. It's really fun to try to make this creative. So here is what my motion title looks like. I really love what technology can do. Okay, the only thing is that this seemed to go a little bit longer than my other ones, so you can click on them and move the size of them to make sure they match up. Okay, so that's basically text, very simple. You pull the text down, double click and change it. Okay, the third one is music. You have three choices, free music, sound effects, and premium music. And I'll just show you how easy it is to add music to your Wii video. Okay, when you click on one of the music ones, um, let's do summer rocks, summer's approaching. You click it and bring it down. I don't want it to go over my voice, so I'm gonna line it up here and I'm going to put it on my audio track. All, all music has to go on audio. So now if you... music in your track okay so it's very fun to play with it probably actually makes um, I'm gonna trash this actually and show you how much the music increases the video the power of the video so fun okay so definitely get creative with these if you can okay this one right here this is called transitions this is how you move from one slide to the next. You have standard or additional. Okay, I'm going to go to standard. Okay, and I am going to actually pick this parasol, which is really cool. And I'm going to put it in between my two sections here. If you notice, it kind of pushed it apart. So let me just show you what that parasol looks like. Six through eight, and today I'm gonna help you learn how to make a wee video. Ooh, that was really fun. 
So now I'm just going to show you that you can take your music to, if you don't want it to be the whole time, and you can pare it down, okay? Um, so the next feature is this graphics. This is probably like one of my favorites. You have backgrounds, solids, overlays, or frames, okay? I'm going to pick a snazzy background film strips, and I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to hit play. And you notice it looks like that, so pretty. But I don't want that whole thing, so I could either resize it smaller, or I just wanted to show you another cool feature. You can cut videos, okay? You can split them into two sections, okay? So that might be another creative way. If you don't want a whole video or a whole piece of section, something, you can snip it, okay, and make it shorter, okay? That's something different. I'm gonna add some text to this. I just take this here. I'm going to make sure this is as long as that. I'll double click it here and I'm just going to write technology rocks. Okay, done editing. So if you play this with the uh, background in the back, you'll see it goes there. And that looks awesome and cool, but the music really should go with it. Okay, so I'm going to try to make the music as long as my video here. Let me play it one more time for you guys. I really like doing this because I think it's really cool what um, directors must have to do and editors must have to do um, to make their videos. Okay, so I think I've hit on all of these um, up on top here. And now I think it's time for us to just look how it, what it entails to finish your video. I want you to click Finish Video. You are going to name it. We video tutorial um, for students. I'm going to click set and you're going to have some options. Um, that's not a nice thumbnail. I'm going to pick this as my thumbnail. Okay, I am going to click 720 HD and I'm actually going to um, finish my video and make it publish to my Google Drive. It will give you a uh, wait, it'll give you a couple seconds, a uh, couple minutes to download your video and you will get an email in your uh, Gmail telling you that your video is done. So good luck. I hope you get creative. I hope some of you share your re-videos with me and my room is located right at the end of the Acadia 8th grade hallway and I would love to answer any questions or help you in any way I can. So good luck.